Signs and moves, and of course, I have to welcome back all my stars. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the mother share. I do appreciate all of you for your likes, your donations, your shares, the confirmations you send me through email, the positive energy you show me, the positive energy you show yourself, and overall, the positive way you show up in the planet. Now, with that being said, let's get in there like a swimwear. Now, you know. I gotta remind people, I got a doppelganger, a copycat, a replica, a clone. I wanna be me, but try to do it better than me. An English professor, a WhatsApp bandit, woo, and a voodoo high priest or priestess all floating through that comment section, but I also got a lot of love. That voodoo high priest or priestess is promising to get your love back for a small fee of $39.99. All you gotta do is sign your life away on the dotted line. Do not fall for the okie doke people. Oh. If you have to bend somebody's will for them to be with you or for you to be with them, <laughs> they don't need you and you definitely don't need them. This is past, present, or future energies. Parts may resonate with you. Parts may not take what's for you and leave the rest. This could be somebody in your environment, someone thinking of you. You're thinking of them, an ex, a co-worker, a past over loved one. You may or may not know these individuals. Any and all information that you need about me, or regarding this reading shall be in the description box below okay i do appreciate all of you uh for the well wishes the blessings the happy holidays i hope that you received some wonderful gifts even if you have to give them to yourself if not then i hope you receive the gift of peace okay now be mindful of scammers <laughs> We're not, we're not out the water yet. Some of you, you already know what's going on, all right? We have somebody's stability in question. Somebody could be 38. Somebody could have been born in 83. You could be 34, 43. You may have been investing in something and not paying attention to the signs and synchronicities telling you to be cautious, Something wasn't solid with affirmation, affirmations in the reverse. Someone made a wish upon a star. And, and yeah, if this is a prayer, that prayer didn't go past the ceiling is what I'm getting. Somebody's very observant, observant here. OK, so some of you, this could be investment that you walked away from just in the nick of time. You could be someone that reads auras or you were observing something. I'm hearing the scene of a crime here. OK, some of you, you may have seen an accident um, waiting to happen, whether if it was something that actually took place on the physical realm uh, in your environment or it was the spiritual realm. Some a warning here. OK, somebody was trying to conjure up something and they were warned. They just didn't listen. This is a hard head makes a soft behind type of energy. This is about someone traveling or this could be about someone not being able to travel towards you because they're stuck in some sort of toxic belief system, a toxic cycle. This is somebody that makes a lot of head over heart decisions. And what I mean by that, anything that uh, jeopardizes this person's finances, they're going to go the other way. Now, some of you, you may say, well, that's smart. That's smart. That's smart. However, if this person is being guided to slow down and to focus on a different aspects of uh, aspect of life, then that's not the right thing to do. Right. I feel a tower coming. I don't see it, but I feel it. We got the world card. Somebody could have had influence over a lot of people. This is giving me um, somebody's job. Now, you could be a business owner or this could be somebody that's very influential. This could be somebody of status. This could be a star seed influencer or somebody that has some sort of platform, you know, where they may be able to connect with people all over the world. Okay. The 10th house, the world card is very much the world wide web. All right. So somebody didn't want someone to believe in you or and believe in uh, a success, a success story. All right. For some of you, you may have told some sort of success story. Some of you, you took lemons and you made lemonade, uh, lemonade or lemon meringue pie. Some of you, you could be traveling, you could be into public speaking, you could be going to see some sort of guru, but this don't necessarily have to be all on that level. This could be you gaining some information about a toxic cycle that you were in. 
Okay. Some of you, you're generational curse breakers. All right. Some of you, you know, you come from humble beginnings. So you may have had to struggle. All right. So now you're able to see the warning signs and you go the other direction because nothing is going to jeopardize your peace. Good job. For some of you, this is about a marriage with the psychometry, psychometry, okay, sensitivity. For some of you, you're very sensitive to your environment, okay, that could be glu gluten, that could be milk, that could be whatever, okay. Some of you, you're just sensitive to the elements, all right? So you may have a cur close connection. Damn, I was going to say curse. God, Miss Molly. You may have a close connection with the earth here. So when you, when something is happening in the environment, you could feel it, okay? Some of you, this may cause you to be depressed or you may feel some sort of ailment. I'm being guided to give you a suggestion. If you are not allergic, then grounding with, uh, what is that? Epsom salt or, uh, yeah, Epsom salt or some sort of sea salt, okay, may be significant, significant for you that may help you to stay grounded and give you, relax your body. Because some of you, you may be really tensed at this time here. This is about you using your intuition about what you're seeing also, okay? On the internet, people trying to persuade you using technology, okay? Technology spirits that come out in the last reading. Make sure to check that out. Some of you, you definitely a star seed, but you're very sensitive, okay? You you could have like healing hands, okay? Some of you, you could be masseurs. You may have gotten a massage or are you into Reiki. Something you do with your hands. It gives you some form of stability. There was some sort of illusion surrounding what you do for a living, Okay, or possibly what you do in the dark. All right. For some of you, you were divinely guided to this. Okay. Yeah. Definitely somebody could be a Capricorn. Yeah, somebody's a healer. Look at that. We got the healing. This is my record card. But you may be into crystals or you may benefit from crystals if you're not allergic. We got 22 here. So that telling me that tells me you have one foot on the spiritual plane and one foot on the material plane. This is about you being a divine architect of your life. You could possibly be building something that's very valuable, something that will live on longer than your humanly body. All right. You're, this is telling me that somebody lacks discipline or they need discipline because someone's trying to throw you off track. OK, 22 is a master number. So you could be a master teacher, a master builder. You could be going to see um, uh, some sort of guru or a master. OK, some of you, this speaks about you having angelic presence, guardian angels, ascended masters and things of that sort. On the surface plane, you could be a healer. You could be in the healthcare field. You could be a doctor. All right. You could be somebody that works with your hands, whether if it's building foundations or making sure foundations stay together. Some of you, this could be about science or yeah, si science or cosmology. OK, so you're somebody that's I'm, I'm here ethical, but you focus on the mundane. You focus on what you can see versus what you can't see when the you know, goes down when it comes down to the spiritual realm here. Some of you, you don't really have faith in spirituality. <laughs> I'm hearing you having no choice because it's kind of like you would be doing yourself a disservice not to pay attention to the synchronicities as, you know, as we shift into this new paradigm. So it's time for somebody to get structured here. We're talking about harmony and partnerships. For some of you, this has something to do with your old belief system that needs to be cycled out so you could get a new understanding of what's taking place okay i'm hearing new level new devil all right so some of you you've been paying attention to the synchronicities and you've been going uh, you've been going the other way this could literally be you following your intuition some of you you may have went the other way and you may have observed a scene of a crime or something taking place like an accident or something okay why well, is caution yeah some of you you may have avoided something i'm hearing detrimental by following your intuition this is this is past present or future energies keep that in mind caution all right so some sort of truth was revealed something that was hidden 
somebody who's learning how to operate from their heart space after dealing with only the mundane, only structure, only th things you can see, okay? So somebody's connecting with their true selves. So either this is about a past relationship, this could be a past life for some of you. Some of you, you have a past life in the occult. For some of you, this is about somebody that you may have, um, that may have passed over that you had some sort of partnership with. Okay. Possibly a marriage, but this could also be about a business, a structure. Okay. Or your actual partner. All right. So for some of you, this could be an ex. Okay. Somebody that you moved away from that was cautioned not to do something. And that definitely came out in the last reading. So you were dealing with a controlling individual, okay? I'm hearing misogynistic, but you know, whatever, okay? <laughs> with the Mars card being here, that's definitely the patriarch. That is masculine energy. I'm hearing aggressive energy. So this is somebody that didn't create some sort of foundation, all right? This person, met, a matter of fact, this person may have moved away from you or they travel to the other ends of the earth here to keep from taking accountability or responsibility for something that they created here, something that they brought to the earth. They might gleat. Anyway, we got Aries here with the first house. Some of you, you need to possibly uh, look at your first house, but this is an indication of Aries here, Aries there, could be a Scorpio. We also got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, strong Cap, strong Sagittarius, okay? Either you are a light worker or you shine the light on these individuals, okay? The first house speaks about the way people view us, all right? So this could be about how things look on the surface, how you look at yourself, how other people see you. Somebody, you, yeah. Especially with the 11th house being here. This is a 111. <laughs> Interesting enough. Okay. Uh, you have angelic presence surrounding you. So some of you, you need to pay attention. Okay. When you look at the clock, if you are, are not skilled, look them up. They're angel numbers to some people. But as you advance, they become DNA activations. Okay. So it just depends on where you are on the spectrum. And I'm sure there's other things. Um as we move forward, but this is about you trusting your intuition, your gut, especially with the cancer being here. That's the matriarch. OK, so this could be somebody struggling with their femininity, struggling with their masculinity or struggling with control. OK, or the way they see women or view men. This could be a group think situation. If this is about where you work. OK, somebody may be trying to demean you. OK, if you are a male, they may say you're too emotional. If you are a woman, they may say you're too masculine or something like that. So some sort of truth came out about someone that they tried to isolate. OK, the 12th house talks about karma, it talks about self undoing, talks about your fears, subconscious fears, but also talks about secret hidden enemies. All right. So some of you, you may be realizing that these enemies are right there before your face, in your office, in your family. OK, this may have something to do with a coven, a cult, a society, an order here. OK. At the bottom, we're talking about an ending of someone that was very obsessed and controlling. OK, over the way people view them or view you. This is somebody that was in a power struggle with whoever this is. Possibly they're in a power struggle with anybody that they encounter because this person feels like they have to conquer things with Mars being here. This is somebody that takes action and they move forward. OK, this could be like a Knight of Wands type of energy. This person may use lust as a means to control people. OK, I'm hearing the magic stick. So this could definitely be speaking. Ooh. <laughs> Interesting enough, Mars rules Aries and Scorpio, and this is what we seeing right here. I'm hearing underhanded tactics, okay? With Pluto being here, this is things that are hidden. This is most definitely a power struggle, but this is about alchemy, okay? Um, transformation, okay? Somebody could have like some sort of uh, compulsive disorder or something that's that's hidden, okay? Or they this ooh, somebody could be what is that? Um, not uh, I was gonna say PTSD, but somebody definitely could suffer from PTSD. But they may have um, why do, why am I, well I'm gonna blame it on Mercury. <laughs> they may have that what is the OCD? 
OCD. Somebody or they 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 have a, a, they're being shown the guy from office. <laughs> I know they're not that bad. Be mindful because I did a reading a few months back that talks about people self-diagnosing themselves. Okay, and it's kind of like I looked up what OCD was. Okay. I believe it's obsessive controlling disorder or something like that, but it's like a really uh, a real thing. If somebody thinks that it's just about having a neat environment, and that's not actually what it is, that's what you will see in the media. However, it's something that's that's more deeper than that, and it has something to do about someone's past. Okay, I feel like this person may encounter. Or, or foster a relationship with people that they can dominate, or this is happening to them, okay? But somebody, somebody seeing some sort of warning sign and they moved away, okay? This could definitely be somebody that has some sort of investment in a stock or a company and they, they moved away. This could be a family business with somebody not wanting to go with the signs of the time. They don't want to upgrade. They want to continue doing things the same way, yeah. I'm hearing if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Okay, but somebody could have been left out of some sort of deal. Okay, and somebody may be upset about that. This person may have to travel here, possibly to go to court is also what I'm getting. Let's see. Why is Aura here? Some of you, when you, you may actually see Aura, something fell out on the floor. And it fell out reverse. Let's see. Ho oh, ho, weak boundaries. Somebody could be 62. You could have been born in 62 or 26. Okay. So somebody, yeah, somebody goes after people that they feel that they can control. This is somebody has um, an obsession with power. They're very controlling. This could be family discord as well. Okay. This is something that, yeah, this is. 26 adds up to an 8. So this is definitely somebody that was not cautious, aware of their thoughts, deeds, their actions, and how it affects the people around them. This is somebody that's self-serving is what I'm getting. Somebody could be a Leo. I believe that's a Jaguar or a Cheetah on that. That could be somebody's totem animal, but it gave me like Leo vibe for some reason. Aura. Hold on, y'all. Or Capricorn. Look at that karmic path. <laughs> My son is trying new things, you all. And he happened to pick up some bean dip <laughs> from the store. And I'm thinking to myself, he is not going to like this, right? It's a whole texture thing. And then, you know, looks, right? You should have seen his... <laughs> You should have seen the expression on his face when I opened up the bean dip and it was brown. <laughs> he touched it like, what is that? <laughs> All right. Anyway, we got a lot of Capricorn. All right. So this could actually be involving a Capricorn. But as a collective, this is about stability and it's about completing karmic paths. Right. I just finished explaining the eights. Right. And voila, <laughs> voila, we got a divine masculine here that's on the karmic path or completing a karmic path. Now, this could be a woman that is in masculine energy, but strongly, I feel like this is a male. Okay. This is somebody that is focused on stability. Okay. I'm here and there's no other way. There's no other way. <laughs> Somebody keeps going back to a past belief system, their comfort zone here, expecting things to be different. I heard new level, new devil. Somebody may be walking away from a karmic path or karmic uh, belief systems, or things that kept this person stuck. Something that they needed to cycle out with the world card here. Oh, look at that. Fell right on the world card. Now, this divine masculine is a psychic. Now, this may be something that they hide from the public. Somebody could be 48. They could have been born in 84. Or 
This could be having to do with somebody's 12th house. Okay. I feel like this person may be finding out about uh, a group that they were working with, family, or people that they thought that they could trust. They're finding out that they can't. Things that was hidden to this person. Okay. People that they kept giving chances to, you know, people that they partnered up with, made some sort of business deals. Something wasn't solid here. Uh, surrounding this masculine because Mars is an indication of a, a DM here or a masculine. We have relief and there go that 12. Ain't that interesting? So don't really know where that was going to go there, but I'll leave it here. I'll leave it there. So somebody could have Capricorn in the 12th house. So somebody may be realizing here, or the South Node, as a matter of fact, Capricorn, Taurus. Um, I was wanting to say Libra, but I don't see. I don't know why, but I'm going to go with it. Oh, Libra right here. Somebody could have Capricorn in the seventh house, and that would explain a lot. This person may be changing. <laughs> you, you, know, you know how they say... Uh, damn, I looked down and said 333. This is about somebody's spiritual gifts, right? But you know how they say when people target a certain group of people is because they're, they're trying to, they're either jealous of that group of people or they're trying to hide something. You know how people just go in, go in, go in on a certain group of people and, and find, and they come to, they come to find out that they either want to be with somebody in that group. They may have been turned down by somebody in that group. Or this particular group has something that this person doesn't have or they feel like they can't obtain here. <laughs> but most, most definitely, somebody found out something that somebody tried to hide in the past. And there was possibly some release of uh, a karmic energy with this, the 10th house. The 10th house talks about recognition. It talks about your career. It talks about fame. It's the status. It's the influence of the world here. All right. So somebody may have been uh, latching on to someone. I'm here in the DM. Because they were fearful here. They may have been in a toxic belief system or they felt like they couldn't. They, they, they wanted some sort of structure. They wanted stability. They wanted to be seen as something that they were not. So this could be a cloud chaser or somebody, you know, could be a sugar baby. It's somebody that wanted to gain something, some sort of stability from a DM. OK, this could also have been someone that tried to say psychics aren't real or they don't believe in the spiritual realm again. It's just affirming. Somebody may also be studying a psychic or studying the occult. Somebody is uh, grateful here. Something was illuminated as they started studying, okay? Having to do with the friendship. This could be a soul tribe here, okay? And this could definitely be ending of a friendship. And that's an eight there. Mm -hmm. Somebody's definitely a star or a celebrity or something. Why is the seventh house here? Could be a star seed. Somebody may be studying like the occult, esoteric knowledge. It keeps going right. Ooh, got the tower. Shango could be significant. Somebody could be in a hurricane, slurricane, tornado, hornado. Oh, we got, this is Sagittarius energy. Somebody's going to gain some sort of knowledge about partnerships. Somebody could be studying soul contracts, soul ties. Okay, this could also be somebody's partner that was warned not to do something. Somebody that wants somebody to grow and expand. This person felt like the more knowledge this individual gained, the more they would be left behind. This is someone that did something obsessively. This is somebody very controlling. Okay. Somebody's going to gain some understanding, possibly about their lineage. Somebody may not have wanted someone to know that they have psychics in their family or they were trying to manipulate someone's abilities. Okay. And it caused some sort of trouble. 
And now this person is having anxiety because either whoever they were trying to manipulate has walked away. Yeah, it could be multiple people that may be walking away from a bad investment. If somebody's paying attention, the South know why is this here? Somebody knows they sent. Oh, yeah, power. Look at that. Somebody's gaining some information about an individual that was power hungry. Hathor could be significant. This could have something to do with the matriarch. This could be a gift that was passed down through a mother. This could be somebody that likes to manipulate feminine energy. We did see the black moon Lilith. Okay, that's talking about power, usually by the lower extremities. Somebody may like a cowgirl, cowgirl, cowboy. I don't know. So if this is a female, I don't know. Stormy weather, okay? Navigating through some sort of natural disaster. 21 could be significant, but it's also registering as 12 to me. Somebody could be dyslexic, okay? But we have stormy next to water. So this is navigating through some sort of, I'm hearing implied emotion. How the hell? This is giving me, what is that? The Bermuda, Bermuda Triangle? Somebody could be a captain of a ship or somebody needs to learn how to deal with their emotions here. Somebody needs to realize that the supernatural is something that you will not be able to grasp like logic. It's, it's something that is not logical. So somebody may be trying to get information to explain the spiritual realm, but I'm hearing it's self-explanatory. Okay, with growth and stormy here, somebody may be getting some information that may cause them to slip up, like to, I don't know. Somebody could be crying a lot. Yeah. Six. Six. Twenty-one or six. Three. Eighteen could be somebody's birthday. I don't know why that's sticking out. And not only that. Nine. Twenty-one. Fifteen. Could be significant. That could also be combinations. It could be addresses or phone number. <laughs> wow. Okay. 46 could be significant. 64. Why is Aura here? Or was that supposed to, oh, was that supposed to be on Aura? I don't know. I'm going to keep moving forward. We got a soulmate. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is this paradigm shift. <laughs> somebody's definitely studying soulmate connections. Or somebody's walking away from a karmic cycle. And they're feeling some some relief here. It's, it's like a weight has been lifted off of a burden. A burden has been lifted off of someone's shoulder. Somebody may have wanted somebody to sign something to make to make it official here. Somebody was trying to control the outcome of somebody's destiny or fate. Somebody's fate. Okay. I get it now. Somebody's with a lower level soulmate was with or is with a lower soulmate. OK, so this is why this is a faded situation. Fate is about you taking accountability or responsibility of what you did in the past, how you showed up, what you invested in, what you gave your time, your money, your energy into. This faded situation is going to lead someone to their destiny or they're going to go right back into I'm hearing a downward spiral. Because this is someone that is not ready to operate or they weren't ready to operate out of their heart space. This is somebody that's logical here. 94 could be significant. 49 could be significant. Yeah. Is, is that another 12? 13. Okay. So this is about an ending or a rebirth. Most definitely a rebirth. And voila. We have a rebirth for somebody. <laughs> Moss could be significant. Butterflies. Things with wings. But this talks, talks about ascension. Things with wings came out in the last reading as well. Butterflies. Synchronicities. Okay. 
So 33 is a, a master number here. And then we have logic here. Yeah, somebody was trying to uh, make some sense out of the spiritual realm. Or they possibly didn't believe in the spiritual realm. And the spiritual <laughs> the spiritual realm is like, <laughs> got them. <laughs> I mean, somebody could literally be, things is moving. I don't know. I think... Somebody may be studying fairies or somebody has connections to fairies or something like that. So, or, or, or elves or the spirit realm like that because somebody can't find things that they place. <laughs> like somebody may sit something down and they go to look for I, 33 is an ascended master number. You could be this ascended master or you may be learning a lesson or teaching a lesson like a master class. All right. This is a spiritual trailblazer. Are there supposed to be 33 talks about divine completeness? It talks about ascension of the Kundalini. OK. Paradigm shift. Nine is significant. Somebody could be a Sagittarius. Most definitely all the cuffs of Scorpio and Sagittarius. Could be Capricorn as well, too. Affirmations. Why is this here? soulmate look at that it's an ending to a partnership somebody could have been in a nine-year cycle with someone or 12 24 years well i'm hearing lifetime after lifetime after lifetime oh somebody's scared of their own shadow or they scared of what goes bump in the night <laughs> i'm trying to tell you something <laughs> somebody's not funny right but it is because somebody is powerful here and they don't realize that thoughts create things. And if this person is trying to like make sense out of what's taking place around them, this person could literally have ancestors in their home, like messing with them. And it's, it's to awaken somebody to a psychic gift. I'm hearing force, force with the, this, this gives me tower, this courage card. But it could also speak about strength, right? 73 could be significant. Uh, and 37. But this is this is talking about an ending here. An ending to something that, yeah. It could, this could be a contract. It's definitely with the 10th house being here. This is an ending to a contract. Somebody needs to do some shadow work or they need to address the elephant in the room and then they need the courage to, to do that. It has something to do with the soulmate. This is the soulmate is somebody that does a lot of things in the dark here. So they could be getting signs from their ancestors. OK, it could be a friendship. It don't have to be romantic. It could be platonic. Somebody's somebody in somebody's group circle or household is messing with. The spirits. Okay. And it's actually to block whoever is this DM is. But it's being done for this person, not to this person. Good fortune on the fence. A healer. Safe travel. Transmute. 44. Past life. And 22. Yeah. Will of fortune. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. That's another nine. 63 could be significant. I was going to say 96, but 63 or 36 could be significant for someone. But obviously, we have the unalive card, Scorpionic energy. So somebody is on the cusp of Scorpio and Sag, and possibly even Libra and Scorpio. Check it out. It resonates. We got magic. Okay. It's not to tell you. That somebody was messing with them spirits. Hmm. Didn't I just tell you somebody was messing with them spirits or trying to send a negative energy towards some somebody's gifts here to block off something. And they were studying out of some sort of book here. This is somebody, somebody. This is someone that somebody trusted, but they, this is also somebody that needs to trust in their gifts or trust in their intuition and in something. Okay. 
They need to learn from their mistakes with the Wheel of Fortune being here. Yeah. Mm hmm. This is, all, this is definitely talking about good fortune. Somebody needs to believe that once they release this toxic energy, that they're going to have some sort of fortune here. This could be somebody in a battle over some property, something materialistic here. But it's just to keep this person distracted. We're talking about somebody that is magical. Okay. I'm hearing transmute energy. Look at that. Look at, didn't I just say somebody needs to trust? An uh aunt -uh, could be significant. Yeah. Somebody's being real patient. Are they they're about to lose their patience here because they want to move forward? Okay, look. I'm being guided to end it there. But before I end it, I want to give out. This, this, somebody, this affirmation is in reverse because somebody needs to trust their intuition. But not only that, they need to say what they mean and mean what they say. And it's going to take courage here to end something or to begin something. They need to, somebody needs to trust in the divine trust in their abilities here. We got protection guard and trust that you are protected. Okay, so this person needs to drop this defense, defensiveness, because because everybody's not the same. You were in a, uh, a a cycle of deceit. You had to cycle out these individuals so you can receive your heaven on earth, your 11, 11. And because whatever you have to give or contribute to the is in alignment here. So it's protected. But if you... You know, don't go playing traffic unless you want to prove me wrong. And playing in traffic would be holding on to this toxic belief system, these toxic people. You know, no more one last try. You didn't did that already. Yeah, Sage. This is this somebody got a lot of wisdom. And we got the fire garden guardian here. Okay, somebody's definitely an earth angel. Okay. And somebody has a lot of wisdom, peacock feathers or ostrich feathers or something like that. Somebody may have a special print pen that they write writ, write writ. <laughs> Look at that. Look at mirror guardian. And the mirror came out in the last reading. So make sure to check that last reading out. Somebody needs to face themselves. Somebody was trying to project some negative image or negative outcome on someone and somebody's being protected from that. They possibly needed to realize that you are protected. Okay, this person may be trying to stay away from you because of the people that they were involved with in the past. This person may be crying a lot. They're very emotional, was surrendered to silence. I'm here in Rikers Island or something. This person may have secluded or isolated themselves with affirmation. Somebody needs to believe that they are protected. Are they going to be protected? Or they need to realize that these energies that are around them are protecting them. Yeah. Like, okay. This masculine needs to get a hold of their psychic abilities here. It's like because they haven't confronted their shadow. It is they need to confront their shadow here. They need to confront the darkness with surrender to silence. And they need to have courage to address whatever they did in the dark or these shadow figures. This person may actually see a lot of shadow figures. But for some of you, it's this person's ancestors. But this could also be their beliefs. They're not in alignment. It's like they need to shift into a new paradigm. What's here at the bottom? Surrender worry. Yeah. This person worries a lot. I'm hearing they had to give up a lot. So they may be causing this person some um, issues with their gut. Okay. Some having to do with their groin as well. Somebody may be trying to bind a masculine's groin so that they don't 
sleep with someone else or that they can't perform with someone else. Deuces.